On a typical day in Boston, EMS will respond to 400 medical emergencies across the city. When it gets this hot, raise that number by 20%. Our folks are working flat out. EMS Chief Jim Hooley is talking about his teams across the city who've been extra busy since Thursday, responding to 51 heat incidents over the past four days alone, with many of those ending up in the hospital due to heat exhaustion. All of us have to pay attention to the, uh, you know, the common sense things we put out about take frequent breaks and try to get some shade. You know, wear hats if you're out in the sun. Hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's not just construction crews or firefighters feeling this. EMS even responded to several Sunday services yesterday with worshipers getting overheated inside non-air conditioned buildings. And over at Fenway this weekend, it was a popular spot for summer concerts, but EMS also treated many overheated music lovers. We are, we've been watching it very carefully, and again, the heat emergency declaration makes it so that we are specifically preparing and being proactive about those resources, activating communications with residents and deploying uh, cooling, misting, um, heat resilience measures all throughout our neighborhoods. Boston EMS says keep an eye out for these signs of heat related illnesses. They include headaches, dizziness, nausea, cramps, confusion, high body temperatures and a fast pulse. With these three, four, five day stints that we go through can, can, can wear people down, you know, can really uh, uh, do a job on their reserves. As people look for all kind of ways to stay cool, the good news is we are told relief is coming by Wednesday. In the Back Bay, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB News Center 5. And you can find heat related information and resources right now on our app and our website, WCVB.com.